What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent. I have an Assault Dust Buzzable Fairy Spam team right here. The idea of this team is we have two Pokemon that can pressure Steel types while simultaneously getting up Hazards, which really helps out the four attacks fairies right here. It's four attacks Mega Diancie and then Choice Scarf Tapu Lele with four coverage moves as well. And then the pivots right here are Assault Dust Buzzwell. Lots of HP and Spit Up to go ahead and help out against Ash Greninja. And then we have Pivot Torn right here. So aside from these two, the team is really offensive with these two getting up Hazards and trying to pressure through the steals, these two pretty much being the best end games for every matchup, so that'll be the team. Let's get started. All right, I've got a game right here. My opponent has a very threatening team. If that's Fly Z Lando, I'm actually just gonna lose to that because it hits both my Torn and my Buzzwell, which I would initially want to switch into. So we'll see. I think regarding lead matchup, I like Tornadus right here, as they lead with the Tox effects. What I can do is just knock off right away. I don't really care if they toxic me, but I think they're gonna go for T Specs or Scald if anything. As they just scald and they don't even get the burn right away, so that's kind of lucky for me right there. I think I just U turn to Tran. As they scald again, okay, that's fine. So I can Magma Storm, but I can also get a Ferox if I want. I'll just Magma. Maybe they're bad and give me the pack, so that would be funny. But they should go to Heatran. They actually pivot to Torn. That would have taken a lot, which really sucks. Hmm. I know I don't really have good pivots because, like, my Flying Resist is Diancy and they can just U turn to Lando, which I don't want, so I'll try to get a Ferox. As they go for a knock. Maybe I hit my Magma Storm this time though. That would be so nice. Okay, I do hit, which is great. Because now I can just spam rocks, I think. And they're forced to U-turn here, so... I get my rocks up, so... I think had I hit the first time, this thing would just be dead, but... That's okay. Or it would have been forced to U-turn out earlier. They go to Lando, as what I can do here is just go to... I'm gonna go to Buzz, expecting rocks. Who would the Z be on? That, this is definitely the Z. That's what I'm worried about. I'll go to Torn. As it goes for the rocks, yeah. I think what I do is I U-turn to Tran on the Z- No, but then I'm gonna lose to Tapu Lele, so... I'll just Hurricane. As I do miss, and they go for Continental Crush. That damage means it's out of range of my Garchomp and my Buzzwell. That is so terrible. But I'll go to Buzzwell anyway, I guess, and just Ice Punch here. I think it kills Offensive Lando, but... The fact that that didn't hit is so bad. If they Scald Burn me right here, I think I lose, but I can't really risk it on anybody else. As they actually get up T-Spikes, okay. Well... I have to try to go on the offensive then. I have to first crit right here, which is super lame. That was such a close roll, too. Alright, I'll go to this guy and just magma. They're not gonna go to Tran. And I'm really annoyed about that hurricane. Like, I went into my ground immunity to try to get damage off, but... And then I couldn't ju I just couldn't revenge it from there. Maybe I should have earthquaked on the Toxapex as I switched in. Might have been better. Okay, they give me their own Torn, which is helpful for sure. It's really good for Chomp, but I need Chomp to break right here. Chomp can do it, but it's really difficult, especially with their Tepu Lele just chilling there. I have to go to Buzzwell here on the Earthquake, and... Honestly, I have to double to Chomp, I think. Or I just Earthquake here. Yeah, and the Toxapex coming in. Force it to recover, and then what I can do is get in my Chomp this turn. Yeah, as it goes for that. Now what I can do is SD up, and they're probably going to go to their Lando T, right? And force the kill on that with this Z move, so... That's not the worst thing ever, I guess, but... I still think their Psy Spam is just going to destroy me here. Okay, they do give me the Lando. So I could actually click Earthquake with Chomp here, so I should probably keep it. They're going to go to the Tapu Lele, which is definitely their choice scarf. There's nothing else that makes sense right here is the scarf. I just sacked my Buzzwool. Yeah, it goes for Psychic, which is the best play, obviously. I think what I have to do is get in. I'll go to Heatran and click Earth Power. Or should I just Magma? No, I have to Earth Power. As yeah, they go to their trance, so that's really good for me. Unfortunately, mine's not very fast, but they just gave me an opening with Tapu Lele, so... I guess I'll take that, as they are able to win what I'm assuming is not a tie right there. I'll go to Garchomp here to force the kill. And then hope that maybe my, my own Lele can clutch this for me. But, yeah, that's the drawback to relying on a move like Hurricane. It really sucks, but... Hey, I guess it's fine. I think I actually suck Diancie and keep Chomp, maybe? Because it beats Toxapex. No, I think I suck Chomp, then go Diancie for damage, and then hope that maybe I can sweep with Lele. Yeah, that's the play. So they're gonna Psychic there. I just go to Diancie and hope that it's enough. I'll Mega an Earth Power here. Yeah, knowing the Toxapex is coming in, so I get to force the kill on this. 
and then hope that Moonblast is enough from there. Or should I Moonblast here predicting their Tapu Lele? I don't think it matters though. Yeah, they're gonna give it to me. And then I think maybe Moonblast can be an endgame for me right here. Yeah, so they Psychic. I go out into this and just hope that Moonblast can do it. I think that if I win the speed tie against this, I win. Okay, this is the speed tie that matters. If I win the speed tie, I think I knock out Zam. I do win that speed tie. Do I kill Zam though? Pretty sure I do. Oh, it took nothing. <laughs> I forgot how good Spidef this thing has. Mega Alakazam. That took nothing actually, that's crazy. They Psychic though, I guess it kills under terrain anyway. Yeah, 105 Spidef is really not that bad, even with such a bad HP stat, but solid game though. I'll be right back. Oh lord, I've got another game right here. I beat this guy last week. I wanna say that it was in the Terrakion video. I definitely think that Garchomp looks great right here with plus two Rock Z against the Tapu Bulu. I have to keep my Torn healthy just for cart, but I also have to really hope I hit Hurricane this time. Let me go ahead and lead off with my... I'll lead with Tepu Lele here, as they lead with Lando. Honestly, this trade is probably worth it because Lando is such a big threat clicking moves, so... I'll just go for Psychic, as they give me damage on Tran. I even get the Spit after drop. Do I bother taking damage on my Chomp right here, or do I go to Diancie? I feel like I go to Chomp. If they're random HP Ice, that would be so sad, but they actually double to Bulu. This could be Choice Band. I think I have to go to Buzzwool. As yeah, it is Bandwood Hammer, so... I'm glad I predicted that at least. I can just Drain Punch. Or I double on the, the Lando. That's probably the better play. They went Mawile. That's such a risky switch. Because what if I Drain Punch? Or I guess they maybe expected Poison Jab. I'll go to Tran though. On the player off and just get up my rocks, I guess. They probably go to Rotom, but I don't really care about that. I can just get in like... Honestly, would it be worth Magma Storming? Or do I go to... I don't really have a good response, that's why it's a little bit confusing. I'll Magma Storm as they Hydro, as I'm actually faster. Do I give them this? I'm gonna Taunt, as they just double Hydro, so that guy didn't hesitate, but I go to Chomp now, and this guy gets destroyed by this Pokemon. As Lando comes in, I can just drop the Z. As it turns out to be Scarf, but that's fine. Who are you going, who are you going to on this Z move, dude? Hard Cart? Wow. <laughs> this guy doesn't hesitate to make super... Aggressive plays. Max HP Torn dives? Okay, well, I guess I have to go for Diancie then. I'm getting completely outplayed this live. This is probably one of my... Well, the first game, I definitely think that it just came down to that Hurricane. But maybe I'm, like, overvaluing that Hurricane. I don't know. But yeah, they go to Rotom. It takes nothing because of the berry. It's gonna go for Hydro because this guy only clicks the offensive move. So I'll go to Tapu Lele. Yeah, at least now here I get to Psychic, but I think I have to double to Chomp. Yeah, on the Tran. So that's good. I think what I have to do right here is go for SD on the Bulu, and then hope that maybe Stone Edge can do something with plus two. Oh, it actually did so much, but it wasn't enough damage, unfortunately. Is this completely over, or is there something I can do here? Diancie can maybe win. I think I have to hope Diancie kills here, though. Let's click Moonblast and hope it does it. It does kill. Okay, good. So yeah, at least this way the terrain is up, so they can't really go to Lando safely, and Rotom should die. Oh, wait, how much did I do earlier? I did, like, 45, right? So that's Spidef. What's the roll on that? Was that a low roll, or...? Okay, so if I put, like, max Spidef in here... Wow, that's so bulky. I'll go to Tapu Lele because Diancie is my win con. That's the only way I'm actually going to get out of this with anything. I'll go to Diancie here. Yeah, on the Tran. And then I have to get this right too. But they're not going to give this to me, so I'll Moonblast on the, the Lando. Oh, dude, are you serious? Okay. Well, I'll Earth Power. I really didn't think they would give it to me at all. And then they go Lando. Yeah, I should have just, I got both the turns wrong right there. That's really bad. But I can go to Buzzwall on the Earthquake at least. I can Drain Punch some health back, which may help me out, but I don't think it's going to be enough. They go to Mawile. I have speed for this. Maybe Earthquake kills. I think it should. Because of the crit, that may help me out right here. They go back to Lando, so that's a good play. But, like, they're, they're gonna U-turn again, so what do I do about that? 
I think I drain. Yeah, drain catches everybody. I just realized how weak they are to Buzzle. This could actually win. Especially if they give me that. I crit again. That's crazy. They go to cart? Why? It's gonna do nothing, dude. <laughs> this is actually a game right now. If they miss Magma Storm, I win with this right now, but... I'm, try I'm gonna try to figure out whether I actually can avoid that. Okay, well, they missed that. <laughs> Yeah, they actually they actually just lost to Diancy. That was insane. Buzzwell just completely tore that guy apart right there. I mean, I got very lucky between crits. I, I don't think I would have killed the Mawal without the crit. Even at neutral, right? I don't think it would have done enough. I'll calc it, though. Let's assume they would be around... What were they at? 41? Let's say they would be around 55 without the crit. How much does that Earthquake do? Because Buzzwell is really strong, so I'm actually curious. Assuming they're just that standard spread. Oh, they would have died without the crit anyway, but I think the crit on Rotom was the bigger thing. It was still a range of Diancy though, so I don't know how it would have played out. I'll be right back. Alright, I have another game right here. The Garchomp could actually be Scarf, because I don't really see another Pokemon that would have really fulfilled that role. Maybe it's Scarf Magirno though, that would be really cool. Unfortunately, I definitely think that Mega Medicham has a bullet punch, considering how Diancy weak this team is, so... I really have to watch out for that. Regarding lead matchup, I mean, Chomp is good, but if they lead Medicham, and they just Ice Punch right away, I'm in such a bad spot. Type of Layla is definitely my endgame. I'll go with Torn, as they lead Mag, so... As much as I want to knock off a potential Assault Vest, I think the play is U-turn to Heatran. No, it's actually really not, because if I do that, then... And they Volt Switch, they get in Medicham immediately, and that's so bad. I'll just knock and hope that maybe they pivot to Rotom. It was Assault Vest, okay. I thought it might be Z-Move, so that's why I made the play that I did. They go to Rotom, so I can just regenerate my thing right here. What if this is the- it is. I was about to say what if it is and maybe cancel, but I don't think I would have canceled anyway. That's really cool though. That's definitely not something I expected. They go to Mag. So I'll go to Ch- oh wait, I didn't even calculate whether this dies. Garchomp, are you, are you this bad at the game or what are we thinking here? Oh wow, that does uh, negligible damage. Well, I'll get up my rocks then. Yeah, as they, they know that they live, so... I got a Barox right here on the Chomp coming in. That means this is ro this is probably Rocks and Tyranitar's AV. Wow. I don't know what happened right there. I'll go to Buzz on the Rocks. And just Ice Punch. As they give me... Oh, it's Tank Chomp. Okay. I'll just uh, Ice Punch again. In case they go to Torn. Like, I could see the Rotom pivot, but I don't want to Drain Punch into that in case they do something like that. Yeah. That voice crack was so bad. I feel like it's the first time I've voice cracked on recording so in so long. Who do they go to? Medicham? Rotom. I have a lot of speed. They probably have more though. But like I died to hazard, so I'll just give it to them. This was Scarf. I don't know why I was thinking about speed at all. But that's fine. They go to Torn. So that means th this is probably the Z then. I'll go to Diancy. And I'm just going to Earth Power. They're going to pivot to Magirna every time. Dude, if you stay in... And click, like, Iron Tail. <laughs> they actually just took the damage and were just willing to sack that. That's crazy. Well, I'll just Power Gem now. I guarantee you they go to Magirna this time. You know what? I'm Earth Powering a... <laughs> okay, so I get rewarded right there. I don't know why they're not going to Magirna, though. I guess it's because they want to keep it healthy for Tapu Lele. Like, they could lose to Moonblast. Yeah, I understand their mindset. Alright, so... That took me a while. L a lot longer than it should have, actually. I don't know why I completely blanked on them losing to Tepu Lele if they give me damage on that. But like, I think it's AV Tyranitar, right? So I don't know if they would even lose. They go to the me this thing, which I can just go to... I'll just sack. Like, I want to go to Garchomp, but I really don't think that's worth it either. This Scarf Rotom is actually giving me a lot of trouble. This game was really bad on my end, but I think I can still win with Tepu Lele plus Garchomp. Those two are so good in this end game right here. Yeah, they go to Medicham, so I go to Tepu Lele on this. I double to Chomp every time. I have to. Yeah, because they have to go to Magirna. What was this roll? I just have to go for that, dude. Like, the, the Rotom will die to my Rock Z. What if it's a Wisp, Scarf Wisp, though? Are they actually, though? That's the thing. If I kill this right here, I actually win with Tepu Lele. Yeah, so they go to Rotom. This is not Scarf Wisp, dude. Get out of here. 
Yeah, it goes for Hydra when I get rid of it, so that's really helpful because now I think I can maybe go for an EQ endgame. And they can't even click priority moves against me. I'm thinking though, if I Earthquake the Metacham, which they have to go to, obviously. They're gonna die to Rough Skin, right? And then can he trans solo from there? I don't think so. Tyranitar is gonna have like Earthquake or something. But if I go hard... Now I see what I gotta do. I'll go to Tapu Lele. Oh, they froze. I mean, it didn't matter. I was in range of hazards, but that's actually really bad. Because I could have forced more damage on this. Yeah, and I'm gonna stay frozen. So now they're just gonna Volt. I'll hope they choke and Volt right here. They did Volt. Okay, good. So now what I can do is I can Earthquake. And then I don't know if I take the hit for Metacham, though. Ah, that's so bad. I actually played this back, too. So they give me the Magirna. Seeing as my type of Lele is a non-factor now. I really wish I was Outraged. This would be so easy. Do I just play off Miss? That seems like what just has to happen. Because I Earthquake here. Wow, how did I mess this game up this badly? I let Scarf Rotom get like 3 kills. What if I switch out and... No, I have to Earthquake. That's the only play. Switching out gives me nothing. Oh, it died. Hello? Tyranitar can not win, I don't think. Because if it's Scarf, then it has to lock like Ice Punch. As that just dies, okay, we pick up the win. What was that roll on Medicham? That was insane. <laughs> Alright, I will be right back. Alright, I have another game right here. This guy gets destroyed by both Garchomp and Mega Diancie, so that's really nice. Regarding lead matchup, I don't really have a good Landorus T anti-lead except for Buzzwell, so... I guess we'll go for that right here. I wall you, dude, so... Where are you going to? Probably Zapdos, right? But it could be on a momentum move, so... I'll just Ice Punch right here and hope that I don't get Static Paralyzed immediately. It doesn't really matter if I do or not, but it would be nice just in case I don't get full parried later. The speed isn't really what I'm caring about right here. They take Helmet. I do freeze them, okay. So they're the one who gets status and not me. That's interesting. I'll go to Chomp though. That's really lucky because Zapdos was one of their... I mean, it's pressured by both my things, but... I'll go to Buzzwool. I think they Ice Beam right here. They're not going to click U-Turn. Yeah, as they did click Ice Beam, so... I can just Ice be Ice Punch myself now. Or should I just Drain? I feel like they may- No, I'm gonna go for Ice Punch. They have no reason not to throw out the Frozen Zapdos at this point, so... Let's see what's up. Yeah, as they go to the Frozen Zapdos... This trade is really bad for me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be super weak to Gren, but... At this point, I'll just try to Ice Punch. Like, if they thaw, then it is whatever, right? As they don't, so... Lucky exchange for me right there, but... At least getting- I mean, getting rid of Zapdos helps out my- my Heatran mainly. Well, not Heatran, it's mostly my Torn. Heatran can just Magma Storm taunt it, but... It would help out Buzzwell in theory, but Buzzwell died while killing that, so... It really didn't work out. What if this doesn't kill? How much did Ice Beam just do? 20? Yeah. So it's not locked in as we just saw. This thing's actually a really big issue, huh? I'll just throw this out as the Ice Beam. And then I'll go to Tapu Lele. What if they stay in? Yeah, I'm just gonna Psychic. If they go to Tren, I'll go Hard Chomp, but... Yeah, they go to Tren. I wanted to double- wow, that's really offensive. I can go to Guard Chomp here. What if they doubled, though? Like, that would be so good for them. But I really can't risk Tapu Lele, I just click Psychic now. Especially looking at that damage. If I get a Barak's right here, Psychic kills everybody. I'm a little bit worried about the Tapu Bulu, though, I'm not gonna lie. That thing could be a big issue. They have Magma Storm, which I'm not really too concerned about. I can SD here on maybe Protect. Because I don't want them going Tapu Bulu. They actually go Lando T. Do I live Scarf EQ from 61? I feel like Garchomp definitely does. There's no way Garchomp dies to this. I do live Scarf EQ. Do I stay in though, or do I go Torn? I'm, they could have HP Ice, so I'll just click this. Yeah, as I'm able to get rid of the Lando, so that's really helpful. Garchomp pretty much did everything I wanted it to. Getting rid of speed control as well as there. As well as getting rocks up, right? So that's really good. They're gonna go to Greninja again, which is fine, because... Like, Tapu Lele just comes in on this and kills everything. They even give me the... The damage with the... My ability, Rough Skin. Hmm... This decision confuses me. 
I will desert power you, dude. I'm not trying to overpredict against the Bulu. Yeah, get out of there. I was thinking about trying to get the two hit K with Moonblast, but when I don't even know anything about the Bulu, I really don't think that's worth it. Yeah, so they go to type of Bulu. I can just go to Torn, but I also like the Tran. No, but Tran probably takes on the Gran as a failsafe, right? So I'll go to Torn. As they make a great double into Gran, so. Hey, good play. Is it low kick though? Does it matter if it's low kick? I'll go to Tran. As they go for Ice Beam. I feel like I live low kick, so I'm just gonna Magma Storm. I've already gotten so lucky this game, why not just hit Magma Storm as well on top of that, right? That's such bad logic. What if they're Z? No, they're. They could be Z Dig. But I don't think I can try to predict that right now. Yeah, they go for Z Dig, but like I still get in Tapu Lele and just click Psychic. And they don't counter this Pokemon. They have to go to Tapu Bulu, but I feel like that's getting blown away. Yeah, because it's probably Choice Band looking at this team. Yeah, they go to Tapu Bulu. How much are you taking though? I feel like this is doing way too much. 37, what? Dude. Well, I go to Torn because it prevents recovery. But I could lose to this. Even after all that. They go for Horn Leech, so they take good damage right there, which I guess I'll take. I have to hit Hurricane. Even after all that luck, I still have to hit Hurricane to win this game. That's wild. Oh no. <laughs> it's getting so much health back. That's so annoying. I mean, I'll attempt to hit anyway. Like, they should sack the Heracross, then go to Gren. Alright, Torn? Torn. Come on, Torn. Don't do this to me. I know I locked, but... You've, you've already missed a hurricane earlier in the live. Just hit this one. If Jirachi can flinch an iron head like 16 times in a row, you can hit a hurricane. There you go. <laughs> so now they go to Gren. I just sack off my Diancie and then go to Lele. Or do I sack the Lele or then go to Diancie? Actually, I feel like that's probably the better play because if I take a ton of damage right here and then Tapu Bulu won't Horn Leech it enough, then I go to Torn and Hurricane, so... That's actually the end game. As they go for Gunk, good play, but Diancie still lives that, so. And you don't get too much recovery back with Bulu, which I'm happy about. What attack do I knock you out with? What have they shown? They've shown Dig? Oh, they've shown Dig. I didn't even think about that. U turn, Ice Beam, Tectonic Rage, Gunk Shot, huh? As they click U-turn, okay, so I get that right, which is helpful, but I may lose to this Gren anyway. Depending on how it plays out. Because they go to the spit off Bulu here. They're gonna click Protect, obviously, for some recovery. Maybe I should have kept the... The Tapu Lele. <laughs> that was probably a mis misplay on my end right there. I do hit, they actually get confused and hit themselves, which is interesting. I think I have to defog to hope that Diancie can live the hit from Gren, that's all I can think of. Yeah, because at least this way they can't actually dodge my hurricane either. Yeah, so there's that. They go to Gren here and just click the... This dig kill my Diancie? I'm not minus defense. I guess we'll find out right here. Yeah, I just click Moonblast. Actually, it doesn't really matter what I click. I just click Power Gem. If they dig, then I just Moonblast after. <laughs> I threw this one, dude. I should have kept Tapu Lele. I really didn't think they would gunk, though. My thought process was I go to Tapu Lele right there. I take a ton of damage, but I live whatever they go for, right? I force the kill with Psychic, and then Tapu Bulu doesn't recover enough to take on my Torn. That was my sort of endgame path, but they made a really good play gunk shotting on that switch. The thing is, if I actually Psychic right, if I actually go to something else right there in theory, or sack my Tornadus, or let's say, let's say I sack my Diancie that turn, then I go to Tapu Lele and click Psychic, of course, right? Then I think the Tapu Bulu recovers too much. Because they could switch out into it, Horn Leech, but maybe if I switch back, I don't know, maybe I should have sacked off Diancie. But we'll see right here. 
Well, how much does Dig do? This guy's taking a while. Diane C. I'm not hasty. Oh, that does so much. I lost. Yeah, I just lost. Yes, stab dig does way too much damage. Is that accurate? Doesn't actually tell me, but yeah, I choked that endgame right there. What I should have done was sack the Diane Seed, then gone out into Tapu Lele on this, and I think I would have won, but unfortunately, I tried to get a little bit fancy with my endgame, make sure that Tapu Bulu didn't recover too much, and that's really what cost me the game right there. It's okay though, I'll be right back. Alright, I've got another game right here. I can't believe I lost that last one. I definitely messed up at the end by sacking Tapu Lele, but it was still a solid game. This guy gets really destroyed by Garchomp, but I just lose to Halucha. I'll actually lead Garchomp as they lead Lando. I mean, it's against a Sun team, so I don't mind trading hazards. I hope they're not Z on this, though. I feel like Z is probably on Victini, if anything. As David recognizes how big of a threat this is, so I'll switch out here. I'll go to Buzz. If this is a Fly Z, that would be so sad. Oh, they Fly Z right then and there. Hmm. <laughs> well, here we are. I'm gonna Psychic. That's actually so sad. I should probably be keeping my Tapu Lele too, but I feel like Diancie is even better. So they go to Tapu Fini here, which I don't really mind. Takes a good amount, to be honest, so they can either defog or nature's madness. Either way, I'm okay with just spamming Psychic. I'll go to Tran here. On the Victini, yeah. Rocks up as they go for that for no reason. I'll Magma here on the Lando. Alright, come on, Heatran, have eyes. There you go, Heatran. That's how you do it. Now I can go to Tornadus here and just Hurricane. There's a Defog on this. They don't have a Fly Resist besides Mawal, which takes like 40% before Mega Evolving. Oh, but this sets up the Sun and gets like my Hurricane to be no accuracy, so that kind of sucks. I'll go for a U-turn, though. As they, they're going to get up their rocks. I'll just do the same. Like, if you want a Defog, I'll take my rocks too, dude. Who do I sack? I feel like I'd probably go to Torn actually. On the Taunt, yeah, and I can just knock off. Reduce that thing's longevity. Now here's the thing, I can Hurricane here and knock it out, but it's 50%. Like, I'll go for it and if I miss, I'll have to U-turn. As yeah, I, I do miss, but like I can't really compl- Okay, you know what, I'm gonna Hurricane again though. Missing two sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, can I hit the third one, maybe? Knock this out? I hit into Mawal, which is probably the best thing to hit into, so I'll take that, I guess. I'll go to Heatran here, because I can't lose to SD because of my Diancy. As yeah, they click Sucker, so I can just rocks. Then I'll go to Diancy on the Defog. Yeah, because this thing kills everybody, so I don't mind bringing it in right here. Just Moonblast. And get rid of their Mon. Yeah, who do they go to now? It's like, everybody dies. Dude, really? You're gonna- This doesn't kill. Hello? <laughs> That's, that was interesting. I think this just sweeps. Why do you do that, dude? I mean, I guess they didn't have another play. Alert power you, dude. They're not even gonna sucker punch, I bet. Based on that last play, yeah, they're not sucker punching. This guy's team is insanely weak to Diancie. That was, such, that was such an easy Halucha win for them, though. That's why I'm so confused. I feel like even if you were in the back right there, you could have still won with it later. I'll be right back. Alright, I've got another game right here. This will probably be the last one. Career ended. Let's hope they don't end my career. But it's looking like, like that may happen because of this Skarmory. I have one way of breaking through that mon with Heatran, so... This is going to be interesting. I think lead matchup, I'll just lead Garchomp. As they lead Skarm, okay. I mean, I don't mind this. I'll just get a Brox. I hope they're not toxic. That would be so annoying. Because Garchomp's really good here. They could be counter though, so I have to watch out. Maybe I go to Heatran and try to get a Brox with that. That's probably the better play. And just keep Garchomp at full. Yeah, I like that option better here. Yeah, so they go for a Spike. They have to go to Tyranitar, but I don't care. I'll just Rocks. Yeah. And I can go to Buzz, but I feel like I need to keep Buzzwell healthy specifically for Excadrill. The problem is that they just go to Skarm anyway, so does it really matter if I go to Buzz? Not really. That did so much. <laughs> that's insane. Okay, I'm going to make a double here to Diancie on the... On the Skarm. I feel like that's so... Like, that's really beneficial if I get that right. As they actually doubled to Ditto, but they're not Mega Evolved, so I don't know if they like the scenario. I can tell you I like the scenario, so I'll just Moonblast. As Chansey comes in. Smart play, but I can go to Torn. 
as they soft build it up. You were actually gonna let me knock. That's an interesting play. I'll go to trend though. Just a toxic, like. That's the thing about that play. If you're predicting the U-turn, then you should click an attack that actually hits the Pokemon that's coming in, which is Heatran. I'll go for Magma Storm though. They're not gonna sack off their Ditto here. That would make no sense. Oh, goodbye, Chansey. <laughs> yep. Don't know why they did this, but I will take it. Okay, now Diancie just kills every Mon. <laughs> yeah, Diancie just has a lot of fun here. So they go to Drill. I don't know what Drill's trying to do. It just clicks EQ, which I don't care about. I can just go to Chomp now and SD up. Like, even if they copy me, I have a sack, so... Pick your Pokemon, dude. They have to Earthquake, too. I'll just sack Buzzwill. Yeah, as they Earthquake. So I can just go to Tornadus now and click... Click U-turn. What does not be... If this is not locked in, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay, it is. So I can bring... Oh, does this kill? Actually, it doesn't matter if it kills. I just Earthquake anyway. Maybe Reuniclus comes in? I don't know. Oh, it didn't kill. But I don't think Excadrill can sweep yet, can it? Oh, it might be able to, actually. Why did I go Garchomp? Oh, they they dipped. Don't come back, please. I would be so happy. I'm pretty sure Extra Drill wins right here. I mean, I'll go to Torn on the Drill. I hope they don't come back. But this thing wins. Like, I don't think I have a way around it. I'll click Hurricane. Maybe I get lucky with Confusions. So that's my play. As sad as that is. No, they came back. Why did they come back? Corkscrew. Why did they SD? I do hit. I guess they don't have to SD because I died of that and then they don't take helmet. Yeah, so that's unfortunately going to be the game right there. You know what? I think I'm like 2-3 and three right now or 3-3, three and three, something like that. I don't want to end it off on that many losses, so I'm going to try to get one more game and hopefully we pick up a W. I'll be right back. Alright, we got this guy who just threw out his Alucha again for the last game right here. Ideally, we can win again because I definitely want to finish positive. I haven't played that well today. I think I'm 3-3 three and three right now, but ideally, we can end on a high note right here. That would be great. Once again, Tapu Lele just looks good, but... Halucha might just 6-0, unfortunately. It doesn't really set up on a lot, though. That's what I'm noticing, so... I can try to take advantage of that. I'll lead with Buzz. As they lead Lando. So last time, this guy, like, played super passively and didn't really make a lot happen. I'm gonna see whether he wants to do that again right here. Dude, why? Did it reveal Fly Z last time and I'm just being dumb? Well, if it was Fly Z, then they should have gone for it anyway. I forget, was this the Z? I don't think that this was. I'll go for Ice Punch. It was the Z. I feel like I saw that last time and I'm just being dumb, but either way, I just go to this and pick up the kill. I can just Moonblast. I mean, I, I didn't need Buzzle right here. It doesn't kill anything at all. <laughs> so this comes in. I can just Power Gem this. Even if they pivot to Feeny, I don't really care. Yeah, the fact that they have no speed control for this Pokemon is pretty bad for them. So they suck off the Lando here, which I will for sure take. Let's get rid of that Pokemon. Mawal probably lives my hit, so I have to be careful. I'll go to Heatran, though. Heatran's great here. If I get Rocks up, then SD Chomp can actually do a lot as well, so... That would be great, and this guy doesn't actually... Predict is what I'm noticing either. Well, he tried to predict turn 1, I remember that, right? I'm just going to taunt, and then get them up again. Oh, good play, dude. That's actually really smart. But I think if I hit Magma Storm under the sun, you're dead anyway. Yeah, that's in range of rough skin plus helmet, so... Yeah, dude, I'll take this trade any day. Don't roost on a miss. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, I think I win. Because I go to Chomp. On the Maw Alley. Yeah, dude, this is going to add EQ every time. Goodbye. Victini will die too. Yeah, they're just going to go ahead and run. So that'll be the live. I did hope you all enjoyed. Not my finest showcase at all. I definitely misplayed a lot of games right there. Particularly the the game against the, the Tapu Bulu where I just sacked off my Diancie. The Tapu Bulu Greninja team. That was so bad. Not my Diancie. I sacked off my Tapu Lele. I should have sacked off Diancie. That's what happened. But it was still a fun live. I had a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.